Well, tonight, a Birmingham tech startup company believes they've created a new solution to the PPE shortage challenging healthcare workers right now. It's a mask like this one, supposed to be more durable, longer lasting, and cheaper in the long run. And a UAB doctor I spoke to today says she's wearing one every day, and she loves it. Forrest Satterfield's Birmingham tech startup is trying to change the game. He uses 3D printing to create what he says is a better knee brace, among other medical devices that he says are also significantly more affordable. And now so we have the mask uh, 3D printed over here. He's trying to do the same for workers on the front lines of COVID-19. You have a pop off filter. And then uh, for this design, this is using a N95 respirator. From His mask is different because it's reusable. The mask itself can be sanitized easily and the filter on the front can be changed or sanitized too. And they're made custom to a doctor's face. And for a fraction of the long-term cost, one sells for $25 and he says last much longer. Is we can make these custom fit masks or rapidly make changes to the design, use different materials as needed, and so we're not subject to the same shortage and we can make them a lot faster. His goal to reduce the cost of health care by first protecting those on health care's front lines. The last time I took and wore the mask uh, in the ER, everybody loved it. Like UAB emergency room doctor Jennifer Hess. Um, we'd have our own N95 that we then take care of that the hospital wouldn't have to worry about cleaning and it's super durable. It's more expensive than the individual N95s, but right now those last a week or two. And this would be something that could last you know, a year or two. By trying to find new solutions to a problem plaguing healthcare as a whole. We're not here to get rich. We're here to make a difference. Putting people before profit. So the mask Satterfield has created looks like this in any color you want it to be. You can order them right now. More on that in a minute. It's got that silicone edge to sit on your face and the filter right here comes off. He thinks it's a more sustainable long term solution. He's not done yet either. He's working on making them at a larger scale, hoping to secure a deal with local hospitals that he says would save them money and better protect their employees. We have a link to order one at CBS 42.com.